One of the most common things I get asked by people is how you go about formatting a hard drive or a flash drive or an SSD on a Mac computer. And luckily, the process is super, super straightforward and it only takes about five, five, 10 seconds. Real easy. So let's dive in and take a look. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up a program called Disk Utility on your Mac computer. And all Macs have this program, comes pre-installed, it's part of OS X. The easiest way to get to it is to use the spotlight search in the upper right hand corner and you can simply just type in disk and disk utility will pop up and you can open it that way. If you don't want to use spotlight search, disk utility lives in your applications folder in a folder called utilities. So whichever way you want to do it, open up disk utility. Now, what Disk Utility is gonna do is it's gonna give you a list of all the different storage devices that are either inside of your computer or plugged into your computer. And we can see that over here on the left-hand side. So on the left here, we see two things. One is my internal hard drive, and that's this PNY CS1311 SSD. We don't wanna to touch that. We don't wanna format that. Um, if you're ever resetting your laptop to sell to someone, you can format that. It's not this pathway, you don't do it this way, but you could. I want to look at this thing where under the external section, it says SanDisk Extreme Media. And I know that that is this flash drive that I have plugged into my computer. Now, whether you're formatting an SSD, a hard drive, or a flash drive, it doesn't matter. The process is exactly the same. So what I want to do first is I want to select over on the left-hand side what it is I'm trying to format. And in this case, that's this SanDisk Extreme. It should be noted, you want to click the very top level of what it is you're trying to format. For example, I don't wanna just pick the forest drive, I wanna actually pick the SanDisk Extreme drive. That will do a cleaner job formatting when we go to do it. Another quick note right here that I wanna pause on. I have found in the past that I have accidentally formatted things that I have not meant to. I've made that mistake. So for me, whenever I'm formatting a hard drive, I always unplug everything except for the device I'm looking to format. You'll notice here there's nothing else under external because the only external media that I have plugged in is this flash drive, which I'm trying to erase. I don't let anything else be plugged into my computer because it's too easy to make a mistake. So I'm gonna select over here and then I'm gonna go to this erase tab at the top. Click on that. Now, very simple, it's asking me what I wanna call this thing once it's been formatted. So I'm gonna call it forest, I'll give it the same name or I could call it say, my flash drive, give it any name you want, something that tells you what it's gonna be. I'm gonna go with Forest. We'll give it a name. Now, next is Format. Now, this is a little bit different. If you are formatting a external hard drive for use on a Mac computer, you are gonna to wanna to pick the one that says OS X Extended Journaled. Again, that's if you're formatting an external hard drive for use on a Mac only on a Mac. If you wanna use it on Mac and Windows, that's a whole nother conversation. You need special software to do it. But if you're formatting an external hard drive or an SSD for use on a Mac computer, you'll choose OS X Extended Journal. If you're formatting a flash drive, for me, I like to use my flash drive on both Mac and Windows. I like to be able to transfer files between both. So I don't choose OS X Extended. I actually choose MS-DOS, which lets it work with both. You don't wanna do this with a hard drive though, because the MS-DOS file structure does not work well with a big hard drive. So you wouldn't wanna do that. You'd wanna look at special software to enable you to do that. So again, to summarize, if you're formatting something that you need to use on, a, on a, just a Mac, and it's an external hard drive or an SSD, you'll use the Mac OS Extended journaled format. If instead you're formatting a flash drive that you wanna use on both Macs and Windows machines, you're gonna to wanna to choose MS-DOS FAT. Now there's one more thing. Here where it says scheme, if you're formatting an external hard drive or an SSD for use on a Mac only computer, you're gonna to wanna to choose the GUID partition map, which is the default. If instead, like here, I'm gonna format MS-DOS so that I can use it on Macs or PCs, and again, that's only for flash drives. I'm gonna choose the master boot record scheme. That lets it work nicer with both types of machines. Again, I can't stress this enough. If you're formatting a drive, a hard drive, that you wanna use on a Windows machine, you should format it actually on that machine. 
there's really no way without special software to make a hard drive talk to both a Mac and a Windows machine without any sort of hiccups. All right, so very simple process. We pick our format, we pick our scheme. In this case, I'm formatting a flash drive that I wanna use on both Macs and Windows machines. So my format's gonna be MS-DOS FAT and my scheme is going to be the master boot record. I give it a name and I hit erase. We wait for a quick second here. It's gonna disappear, it's gonna come back and it will be fully erased. Now, this process shouldn't take more than about 30 seconds uh, on all hard drives. You can see it's already done. It says it's complete. And you can notice now, I can go to this flash drive and it has nothing on it. It's ready to be written to. And again, because I format it with the MS-DOS file structure um, or format, I can plug it into Macs or PCs and there will be no issues. It'd be super, super awesome. All right, that's all there is to it. Very, very simple process. Now. If you're formatting something on a Windows machine, you'll definitely wanna check out the video I made earlier in a past video where I talked about how to format and how to change drive letters on a Windows machine. And you can see that by clicking right up there in the corner. I'll link it up there as well as down in the video description below. All right, if you like this video, hit that like button. It really helps our channel grow up in the search results. If you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button. If you have a suggestion or a recommendation or something that you wanna see us make a video on, go ahead and leave it in the comments section down below. Also, if you have any questions about this process, leave that down in the comments section below. I'd be happy to answer those. And if you're interested in getting weekly videos from Rocky Mountain School of Photography and really getting, staying up to date with what we're coming out with, hit that subscribe button right down there to stay up to date with what we're doing.